let's solve the differential equation uh, x double dot, which is d squared x dt squared, plus 4x dot plus 3x equals 0, with the uh, initial conditions x of 0 equals 1, and dx dt x dot of 0 equals 1. Okay, so we identify this equation as a second order uh, homogeneous uh, linear equation with constant coefficients. So uh, to solve this, we make a substitution. We try x equals uh, e to the rt. And we substitute in. So the second derivative brings down an r squared times e to the rt. Each term will have an e to the rt, so we'll cancel that. Plus 4, the first derivative brings down an r, plus 3. And we cancel the e to the rt. So this is the uh, characteristic equation that we get for this uh, differential equation. We can uh, first see if it's factorable. Uh, 3 times 1 is 3, and 3 plus 1 is 4. So this factors to r plus 3 times uh, r plus 1 equals 0 so that we have two roots here. We have r1 equals minus 3, and r2 equal to minus 1. So with our um, solution assumed as x equals e to the rt, we found two solutions. And we can use the principle of superposition then to write x of t equals a constant c1 times e to the r1t minus 3t plus c2 times e to the r2t, which is minus t. Okay. Uh, we need to satisfy two initial conditions, x of 0 and x dot. So to simplify th matters, we can take the derivative here. This will bring down a minus 3. So minus 3c1 e to the minus 3t. The derivative of e to the minus t, t brings down a minus 1, so minus c2 e to the minus t. Okay, And then we're going to apply initial condition x of 0 equals 1 to this equation, and x dot of 0 equal 1 to the equation for the derivative, first derivative. So write that there. So when we substitute in t equals 0, we get c1 times e to the 0, which is 1, plus c2 times e to the 0, which is 1, equals 1. And in the first derivative, substitute in t equals 0, we get minus 3c1 minus c2 equal to 1. OK? Um, let's see. So this is a system of two. Uh, first order equations with two unknowns, linear. So let's see, we can eliminate C2 simply by adding these two. So we have minus 2C1 equal to 2. So C1 equals minus 1. And then from the first equation, C2 then must be equal to 2. Okay. So uh, that gives us c1 and c2. So c1, x of t is c1 times e to the minus 3t plus c2 times e to the minus t. So we just write down x of t equals c1 minus times e to the minus 3t plus c2 times e to the minus t, right? And that's um, our uh, solution. So if we wanted to simplify this, if I wanted to, to simplify this, this one decays faster than this one. So a simplification, or at least a nice way of writing it, would be to factor out the one that decays least slow. So that would be 2 minus e to the minus 2t. 
That's one way of writing it. Or if you really want the asymptotic in front, you can also write this as 2 e to the minus t. And then we have 1 minus something that decays against 1, which would be 1 half e to the minus 2t. So I would claim that perhaps this is the nicest way to write the expression. So you see that the asymptotic decay is 2 times e to the minus t.